Sascha. This is the new Acer Aspire 1 D150, that's the second generation of the Acer netbox. And I bought this one on the streets of Taipei for roughly around 400 euros yesterday. And I thought you would like to take a closer look at it. So uh, let's do it. Here we go, the Acer Aspire 1 D150. It comes with one gigabyte of RAM, 160 gigabyte hard disk drive, 10.1 inch display and the Intel Atom N270. So this is kind of the first generation of the second generation of the Acer netbook, which is confusing of course, but we will see also the Acer Aspire 1 D150 uh, with the new GN40 chipset and the Intel Atom N280. So well, let's take a quick look around the Acer. So we have our VG8 out here, Ethernet, USB 2.0, um, headset connector, microphone connector, 4-in-1 card reader. On the front we have this little switch where you can switch off your Wi-Fi. Then we have two more USB 2.0, we have a power cord adapter or the, um, your PSU connector and we have a Kensington key lock and we have a huge battery. 6 cell, 5800 mAh, so watch out NC10 users this could be a real competitor when it comes to battery life. Oh, by the way, how about the bottom? Um, haven't opened it so far, but for me it looked pretty promising that we can easily access hard disk, memory and maybe even the Wi-Fi card. But we'll take a closer look at this some later. So, well, I got the white version. That was the only one that was available while I was in Taipei. Well, I'm still over here. But let's open it and hello, that's me and that's the mirror. It's a glossy display. For these guys, you know, that really want to use their netbook outdoors, mm, you might consider um, getting a kind of foil uh, for it, or you just might consider a netbook of a competitor, because this glossy display is just not good for any outdoor usage. Um, let's take a look at the keyboard or at the different functions that we can see over here. I haven't checked out this little button here. Um, seems to me like Bluetooth that I can switch it on and off over there. We have our power button here and we have only a single mouse button and even the single one feels kind of it's kind of hard to press it down and the feedback is a little bit weird. Uh, also for um, a company that uh, had the bestseller uh, uh, on the netbook market last year, the Acer Aspire One, um, Maybe they should have been a little bit more sophisticated about getting a bigger trackpad on there and maybe even using the whole space for the keyboard because this keyboard isn't pretty much standard for a 10 point or a 10 inch netbook. Um, it's even bending, it's, it's not giving me a very very worthy feedback. It feels all a little bit plastic like so there's still some room for improvement for Acer, I guess. Um, comparing this, for example, to the NC10 from Samsung, um, I'm sorry, they are not separated by worlds, but by universes when it comes to the keyboard. That's all I can say. Um, of course, you also um, have to keep in mind, you know, what kind of design you like, what do you want to do with your netbook, so maybe you just love the Acer Aspire 1, and this could be your favorite netbook. For me right now, um, well I've been using it only for about a day, uh, I can't tell you that I'm super excited about this, especially for a second generation uh, netbook from a company that is so successful on the market and should really know what it's all about and how hard the competition in 2009 will be. So I'm going to do a really in-deep review on the Aspire 1 D150 in the next couple of days. So watch out my video channel or head over to netbooknews.de or follow me on Twitter or whatever and see uh, what the results are when it comes to battery life, to benchmarking, you know, the whole package. And um, then we can see or then we can make a final verdict uh, about the um, chances of the Acer Aspire 1 D150 uh, for 2009.